Okay, so we start off this space news this week with quite a big story. The Voyager 1 spacecraft entering interstellar space. It has not yet been 100% confirmed, but scientists behind the spacecraft have received signals that it has escaped or in the process of escaping the heliosphere that surrounds our solar system. And for those of you who don't know, interstellar space is a space in between stars. After 11 billion miles and 35 years of waiting, the Voyage 1 spacecraft has basically broken the interstellar barrier. In my own opinion, and I'm sure many of you will agree, this definitely ranks up there in humanity's top proudest moments. Astronomers studying Titan, one of the moons of Saturn, may have discovered giant lakes on the moon's surface. Just like Earth, Titan has an atmosphere. It also creates clouds that are capable of producing rain, although instead of forming water, they are thought to produce methane. These methane clouds could be the source behind the tropical lakes based around the centre of the moon. The other theory is that the lakes are being replenished by an aquifer underneath the moon's surface. And I know, what's the big deal? But the big deal is that these lakes could have the potential of harbouring microbial life. But with such a limited amount of data, these are only guesses. And I guess we won't know for sure until we send a probe out there to get a closer look at these mysterious lakes. An asteroid measuring around 1,650 feet wide, approximately the size of a city block, flew past Earth on Wednesday. It was estimated to have came around 14 lunar distances close and was large enough to be seen clearly from an observatory located in the Canary Islands. I've seen the video and I thought it was pretty interesting so I've left it in the description. And that is about it for the worth knowing space news this week. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.